Yes, the, um, you'll get wet if you stick your hand in there, but, but go ahead. It's a, it's a little bit sandy. If we, I'll give you a cloth. So if you put the, the effective side sides together, they don't get rubbed quite so much. It's some sand that's hydrophobic. Hydrophobic sand? So that was one of those two things going off. If you take a balloon, for example, and you put it on a single spike, it pops, as we just heard. If you take it and you put it on a lot of spikes, you can push it quite hard and it doesn't pop. Give us a pop. And so I'll do it on a pop, yeah. We're standing outside our sales building, which is the Centre for Elect uh, Effective Learning in Science, it says on the sign. We've been doing all sorts of things, but our, our largest thing at the moment has been uh, the Royal Society Summer Exhibition, which is an, uh, which is an open event for the general public, and uh, we've been building an exhibit for it. It was uh, a little bit of a shock quite how big it was going to be and quite how much we would have to do for it um, when we applied and were given permission to, to build our exhibit. Uh, it's a competitive process. We put out a, a call for applications and scientists from all over the country apply and then we have a committee which consists both of scientists but also of uh, experts in communication. There's someone on it from the BBC for example and they choose the uh, between 20 and 30 best uh, exhibits from that process. I've been doing sort of a, a reasonable proportion of the physical stuff building the actual pieces and demonstrations that will be available for the public to use. Our, our display has, been, has become quite interactive, it's mostly things to touch. Yes, come in and have a look, it's in a, not a brilliant state, there's a lot of things that aren't quite finished and screwdrivers and stuff lying around, so you have to imagine that there's a little bit more tidiness in it. Wow, it worked the first time this time. They all are constantly asking, when's it going to go? When are you going to take all this away? We've taken a large amount of space, as you're about to see. Luckily, it's a big lab. This is our display. Oh, there's a lot of things in the way because it's not quite finished and it's got to be packed up, ready to go. OK, the theme is Nature's Raincoats, that's what it's called. It's about uh, superhydrophobicity in general. Superhydrophobicity is where you have a surface that's both rough and hydrophobic and it repels water particularly well. Um, so our demonstrations are to show that and so, the, so you have things like this which is some special mud. It's made by a company that makes a super hydrophobic coating. The mud sticks to the normal side and it doesn't stick to the super hydrophobic side. This thing here is, um, is relatively simple. It's a, it's a little uh, funnel with some water pouring around it. The water's got a little bit of dye in it, which is why it's blue. And um, the surface is coated with some hydrophobic paint, super hydrophobic paint. And so the water runs around in several circles and doesn't break up. It keeps up a lot more momentum than on the normal surface, which is in, at the back. It's an identical pump, identical funnel. It just hasn't been coated. And as you can see, it forms a sort of river, which is more what you would expect. Right, at the back here is going to be um, products, which is what all these other, other things are, and some animals. So the duck is here because ducks um, have, as is relatively commonly known, ducks have very, very repellent feathers. The other side is a little bit more on the plant side. Plants use hydro super hydrophobicity. They're one of the main interests, or one of the main things that people have been interested in the lotus plant particularly. It was, uh, it was fairly hardcore. Um, we, we, got up, uh, we got up to our university at 7.30 um, and packed, drove down here, got here by half past 11, luckily, um, and unpacked it and set it up um, all in one day. Uh, we dropped a thing on my head, um, the, the container that holds the plants fell on my head on the way in and, and shattered and so that's glued together in a very Heath Robinson sort of manner um, and it's also leaking on the floor a bit but apart from that we're doing quite well. If you are in some parts of the world, like Australia for example, where it's sandy and there are some plants that make lots of waxes. The sand goes hydrophobic like this and water won't go in between. It's going pretty well. We've had an awful lot of visitors. Um, we're not quite the busiest stand, but we've had a lot of people come. Um, we had uh, a few people film us already. 
which has been pretty interesting. I feel like it's going well because people come and they talk to us and they go away reasonably happy at least and say thanks. And, um, and most of the people that come here are obviously interested in science anyway, so that's uh, to be expected, I guess. But we've had a few school groups who've, who seem quite interested, even though their teachers have sort of forced them to come. It's been received extremely well. I've seen lots of members of the public from school children right up to pensioners getting really involved with it. One of the things about the exhibition is that uh, they are, it's interactive, that people bring interesting and exciting things. They've got live animals, they've been, uh, they've been doing a demonstration of, uh, of lying on a bed of nails uh, and that's the sort of thing that really gets people interested and it's been an absolutely fantastic uh, element of the, uh, uh, of the exhibition. Okay, the most popular things that we've got here, um, it depends on the age of the people. The balloon popping is always really good for, for younger people and the, the cards where water rolls off, we've got some cards where some water rolls off. People seem to love those. We've, we had 4,000, I think we're running out already and it's only halfway through the week. Can you show me those two things? So that was one of those two things going off. If you take a balloon, for example, and you put it on a single spike, it pops, as we just heard. If you take it and you put it on a lot of spikes, you can push it quite hard and it doesn't pop. Give us a pop. And so I'll do it on a pop, yeah. Oh! So uh, we sprayed them all up by hand. They're sprayed with a super hydrophobic spray on one side. So when you get some water on it, it rolls off really easily and the card stays dry, apart from some bits where it's not working. It's completely different. It's, uh, I'm not really used to, to uh, talking to less, less experienced people, I guess. Most of the people I know uh, that I meet don't know about the subject exactly, but they do know a little bit uh, generally, so it's a, a little bit easier to talk to them. And it's, uh, I guess it's a really interesting um, thing to learn, uh, trying to find out exactly which level to talk to somebody at. So we get people who t come and they are professors of something, but it doesn't say it on their badge, and then you have to find, you find that out a bit too late after you've been telling them the, some simple stuff. They're all doing really exciting things, and the members of the public I've spoken to have been in have been really impressed and really enthused and really excited by these uh, mostly young scientists.